Dwin Carrier Yaith Kamrai. This is the one you've got down, haven't you? You've got Dwin this Carrier one. Dwin Carrier Yaith Kamrai. He's like, oh, yeah. Wesha. Da Wesha. Da Yaun. Nin Agos Yaun, Italy Rob Luan, so then lovely. Then he's a Cray Fringa, Da Yaun, Creve Yaun, Asano or Horse Project. Diolch i Rob a Ryan, mae Tîm Pêl-Droi cyntaf Wrecsam wedi cael gwahoddiad i fynd ar daith o gwmpas yr Unol Daleithiau. Dyma gyfle i wynebu cewri y Premier League, Chelsea a Man United. Gan orffen yn Philadelphia. Dyna sy'n enwog am Philly Cheese Steaks, lleoliad y ffilm Rocky a man geni un o berchnogion Wrecsam, Rob McElhenney. Dros yr wythnosau nesaf, with Maxine and Kevin I go I'll go hebith get a chesultiad ever exa Did you ever think when you went into this that you'd be standing here about to watch Philadelphia versus Rexham Um I could never have guessed the specifics of what would have happened but we knew from the very beginning that this could be a possibility so to see it realized is uh, a dream come true Are you a bit torn today No <laughs> Are Not you today. a bit, in that case, are you a bit worried about the, the Philadelphia fans? No, I, I will say that I, I think I showed my support last year. I went to the MLS Cup and I was wearing full Philly Union attire. But today, I got to go. Sorry, with guys. Sorry, guys. We're going for Wrexham. Yeah. I'm Rob Clark. Uh, I own uh, Mad for Movies, which is a DVD book. Uh, CD and anything else I can sell shop. I've been running for 16 years. There we are. Okay, thank, thank you very, very much. much. Thank All you. Right, take care. Definitely done my business um, no harm whatsoever. Um, but, but surprisingly, the amount of people that, that, that come in from overseas. Just uh, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney popping in. Um, yeah, very, very... Um, very surreal. But anyway, they popped in, they were about 15 minutes, they were sort of having a good chat and they were having a bit of a laugh, really, and they were talking about all the, the films and uh, Ryan said, any of these films here that you've never sold? And I had to say the Green Lantern, didn't I? Because it's his uh, biggest, uh, I think one of his biggest flops. But um, yeah, you know, they, they were great, you know, and uh, but it's, it is very surreal to have them uh, coming in the, in the shop itself. But you've really captured the heart of Wales. Do you feel like you're almost Welsh now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't presume to assume so, but I will say that it was important to us um, when we were talking about the season of the show um, to make sure that we had an episode that was very specifically um, focused on the nation of Wales and the culture of, of Wales, uh, and specifically the language, because it's such, it's such a rich history, and it was so important uh, to the club, we felt like, to, to do anything less than that, we, we would be remiss in our duty. But you have, you know, in doing that, you've kind of become ambassadors for the Welsh language. And I think you, you've caught on to how important that is for us as, as Welsh people. Do you feel like you're on this journey with us now in terms of growing the Welsh language? I'd like to think that we, if we can play a small part in it, I'd, I'd like to do Yeah, so. I wouldn't... I, I don't think that I could possibly conceive of the idea that we're carrying that on our shoulders, but... But, but, but you're ambassadors we, for Wales now, I think. Yes, I would characterize us as, as ambassadors for Wales, and I think, like, ambassador is just a fancy term for saying people who love something. You know, we love Wales, we love the Welsh, we love the community of Wrexham um, with all of our heart. So, yeah, I think we're maybe Welsh adjacent. I think you're more than Welsh adjacent, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> So come on, first of all, back to back promotion. Ooh, yeah. give me your, uh, give me your, your thoughts. Well, I mean, not that it wasn't real before, but now it gets really real. Uh, it's going to be a lot tougher than it was this past year, but I was just with Phil um, and then just with boys in Ve and the boys in Vegas, and they seem to think that we have a shot at, at being up there at the top again. Is it hard to keep what Wrexham is and what it always has been and then still grow it into something much bigger? That's something we talk about all, all the time. Whenever we, whenever we talk about making large initiatives or making big moves, the question always comes back to, is this the kind of club that the community wants? Um, and so that's always, always, always going to be the cornerstone of how we make every decision. <laughs> 
Ac mae'r hael wedi dod i'r exa o Philadelphia bell. There's actually a song that's been written, Mar Hael Wedi Dodi Wrexham. Mar Hael Wedi Dodi Wrexham. Mar Hael Wedi Dodi Wrexham. In my theatre, one, one more time. Mar Hael Wedi Dodi Wrexham. What, what was, what's been the most surprising thing about buying Wrexham for you guys? Oh, I, uh, the stress. Yeah, the anxiety. Oh, yeah. The horrific uh, skin tearing anxiety every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. <laughs> Pacific Coast time. Yeah, 10 a.m. for me, because I live in New York. Terrible way to start your weekend. Yeah, yeah. Terrible way. Yeah, it's tough. Even when we win, I feel at the end, I went through a, a car wreck. I do, too, because even when we win, I feel like, there's another one next weekend. Because you really didn't have that much experience of, of football, of soccer. No. So it's been a bit of a, a, a rocky journey. Well, we live, sure. quite literally live and die with every kick, every, you know, throw in every corner kick, all of this, every set piece. I mean, we, we, we are obsessed with it. So it's, um, yeah, I, di I didn't expect to have that level of investment where it just, you know, suddenly my entire life orbits around this community and this team. Um, I was not expecting that. Okay, so okay, let's do let's do a few. I got a few ready for you. Okay, okay so I want you I want you to tell me mm -hmm. how do they say this name in American? Okay, Bala. Bala, pretty much the same. Bala. Bala, not nice nice place in North Wales. Okay. Okay. Now this is a, actually the the area that I come from. How do you say this? Okay. Now I just for context, I went to the prom with a young woman from a school called Gwynedd Mercy. Gwynedd. Mercy. So the word, I believe the Welsh word is Gwynedd. So it's Gwynedd, he's trying to say. Gwynedd. Gwynedd Mercy. Gwynedd, there we go. Gwynedd. And the last one, which I think is probably the most well-known Welsh name, you may not have known it was a Welsh name growing up. But how do you guys here in America, or in especially in Philadelphia, say these okay. two words? Yes, Bryn Mawr. <laughs> say again? Bryn Mawr. So Bryn Mawr. Bryn Mawr. Bryn Mawr is what he's saying there. Yes. And I'm sure there are many, many other, other well, words Well, if you too. were to ask the vast majority of people here, how do you say what we drink or swim in? Yeah. They would say water. But you would call it water. What's right. the Welsh word for water? Dur. Dur. Maybe we can... We're uh, almost there, right? Yeah, the we Philadelphia... Can get the, that's we're, a, we're, we're that's really actually close. closer. We're Dur. really close. Dur. That maybe makes a little you, bit more I sense. I think we could start something in Philadelphia. As to why I grew up saying water, for a glass it of was, water. It was priming you for the for it your Welsh. It was priming you for the Welsh. It was priming you for being Welsh. Okay. All right, Rob. As always, thank you so Good much. See you, Maxine. Thank you.